Hello and welcome to Mathematics with Marlene. So for our first example, we have two and three fourths. And the first example, we're going to complete by using pictures, by visualizing this for ourselves. So let's use these three shapes to represent this mixed number. So as the denominator shows, each of these shapes, all three of these shapes, will be divided into four equal parts. And this mixed number has two holes. So we're going to color in two hole shapes and three fourths of the next shape. And now that we've represented this mixed number, let's convert it into an improper fraction. And remember, an improper fraction is when the numerator is bigger than the denominator. So how many pieces are colored in? Exactly 11 pieces. So the numerator is going to be 11 over what is the denominator? The denominator stays 4 because the denominator represents how many parts one whole is cut into. Now how can I convert the 2 and 3 fourths to 11 over 4 without using pictures? Let's have a look. When you have a mixed number and you want to convert it into an improper fraction, you're going to take the following steps. First, you're going to multiply the denominator with a whole number. So 4 times 2. And then you're going to add the numerator. So 4 times 2 is 8 plus 3 is 11. So the numerator is 11. But remember, the denominator stays the same because the denominator represents how many parts one whole is divided into. Now let's look at another example. Six and a half. Let's convert the mixed number six and a half to an improper fraction. Remember, the first thing you do is you multiply the denominator with the whole number and two times six is 12. Now you add the numerator, 12 plus one is 13 over, remember the denominator stays the same, so it stays two. Let's have one more example. Here we have five and seven eighths, and we want to convert this mixed number to an improper fraction. So the first thing we do is we multiply the denominator with a whole number, so 8 times 5 is 40. Now we add the numerator, 40 plus 7 is 47. So the numerator is going to be 47 over our denominator stays the same. If you would like to go and practice this, I have a free worksheet and memo linked in the description box below. You can just click on the link and go and download the worksheet and memo. And if you haven't already and this video helped you, please remember to like this video and to subscribe to my channel. And then I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.